add a unique touch to your text with font palette animation and other CSS updates. There are improvements to the Speculation Rules API. You can try the Element Capture API in an origin trial, and there's plenty more. I'm Adriana Jara. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 121. Let's start with CSS updates. The properties scroll bar color and scroll bar width are now available. With them, you can customize the scroll bars and change, as you probably guessed, their color and width. Now the property font palette supports animation. Font palette allows the selection of a specific palette used to render a color font. And with font palette animation, transitioning between palettes becomes a smooth transition between two selected palettes, like the example on the screen. The pseudo elements, spelling error, and grammar error allow you to customize colors for the spelling and grammar errors, highlight misspelled words with background colors or other decorations, and implement custom spell checking with a more integrated appearance. Check out the link in the description for more details on this version's CSS updates. Sites can use the Speculation Rules API to programmatically tell Chrome which pages to pre-render creating a better user experience by reducing page navigation time. Now the API includes support for document rules. This is an extension to the speculation rule syntax that lets the browser obtain the list of URLs for a speculative loading from elements in a page. Document rules may include criteria for which of these links can be used. This, coupled with a new eagerness field, allows you to automatically prefetch or pre-render links on pages immediately on hover or on mouse down. A separate change allows specifying speculation rules using the speculation rules HTTP response header. The header is an alternative to using inline script elements. The link in the description includes more information about the speculation rules API and its improvements in Chrome 121. The Element Capture API is available in an origin trial. This API lets you capture and record a specific HTML element. It transforms a capture of the entire tab into a capture of a specific DOM subtree, capturing only direct descendants of the target element. In other words, it crops and removes both occluding and occluded content. Let's go over an example where the Element Capture API is useful. If you have a video conferencing app that lets you embed third-party applications in an iframe, you might want to capture that iframe as a video and transmit it to remote participants. Note that you could use region capture to do that, but in that case, if some content like a drop-down list draws on top of the content that's selected, that drop-down will be part of the recording. The Element Capture API solves this problem by letting you target the element you want to share. Check out the link in the description for how to use the Element Capture API and a link to join the origin trial. And of course, there is plenty more. The resize by and resize to methods, part of the document picture-in-picture -picture API, now require a user gesture. You can programmatically open the option picker of a select element with input.showPicker. Scope extensions is an origin trial. It allows expanding a web app's behaviors to include other origins if there is agreement between the primary origin of a web app and the associated origins. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the post linked in the description. Hit the subscribe button now so that you don't miss the latest Chrome DevTools video, the CSS podcast, and more, like this guide to audit your cookie usage. Yo soy Adriana Jara, and as soon as Chrome 122 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.